Unity. Why? Hey everyone, if you're still using Unity 2019's versions or maybe you just started using Unity, this video might be helpful for you. I'm going to talk about some new changes to Shader Graph. Uh, I'm using Shader Graph version 10.1.0 on Unity 2020.2 beta version. So right away you can see the master output looking different. Now we have vertex group for displacement and fragment for the normal stuff like uh, albedo and normal max. Uh, I like this change because now I can work on displacement anywhere in the graph and just drag this group to it. Also now we have the alignment lines appearing when moving nodes like in Photoshop and here's a trick for you if you want to hide them just press shift while dragging. And speaking of lines now if you double click any line you will get this node and now instead of this you can make your graph just a little bit clean. Next, you can see that uh, my graph has colored nodes. You can find the setting here. By default, it's set to none, but you can change it to category and every node will get a color indicating its category. You can also choose precision. I've never used this system, so I have nothing to say for this one. Last one is user defined. Right click any node, you will see color, change and choose whatever color you want okay so we all know the blackboard windows where you add and control uh, properties uh, but now you can only add them here and to see their settings you need to open the graph inspector window first you'll see graph settings tab because remember there is no settings button here anymore you'll see the pipeline of this graph and the material type and settings if you open uh, node settings, now you can see, select any property first and you'll see the settings that you used to have here as drop down. So now every time you want to see the settings of any property, you will have to open both uh, the blackboard and the graph inspector. Select the property in the blackboard and change its settings from the inspector. And I'm not sure if I like this one, it's like doing more steps to get the same result. In fact, I think it would be better to make these settings as a drop down inside the graph itself if possible. And here's some honorable mentions. Uh, Vector1 is now called float. And if you go and search color, it's not the first option anymore. Come on, Unity. And that's it. I hope you liked this video. If you did, leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel and I'll see you in the next video.